Well, guys, I loaded up this morning, decided to come down here and hit these curb strips. Uh, you can see the nice houses in behind me, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to get cussed out today before the end of the day. Maybe not, but whatever. Uh, but it looks real promising. Just got my first target. It's a toy, a uh, toy hoe. Probably from the 30s or 40s, 50s, I don't know. straightened it back out it was bent flat but it has some age so maybe we can find some good silver coins all right let's move on well guys digging along through here and I get some type of a tag I may have to put the brush to it. It's like concrete. Let me see if I can clean it up a little better and we'll take a better look at it. Hang tight. Well, got her cleaned up. I think it's like a tool tag. It's got a tin on it. I'm not sure. But a cool little fine. Got a little age to it. Alright. Well guys, we got a little bit the well the outside part of a zippo lighter. Or that style of lighter anyway. Let's see if I can read that. Uh, nope. Something New York. Can y'all read it? Alright. Wish it would have been silver. That would have been cool. But. I'll take it. I was checking out the back of the lighter to see uh, just what it said on the bottom and I noticed that it was made in occupied Japan and uh, yeah we know how that went World War II but yeah that kind of aged it so it's somewhere in the 40s late 30s and 40s cool thought I'd share y'all I'm coming down through here hitting these curb strips I get this 90 and I pull out this cool lock check this out BAM what a lock oh, I thought it was open I think it's been beat on or bent or Hubbard lock. Give me a second, I'll clean this baby up. We'll get a better look at it. Alright guys, there it is all cleaned up. What a beautiful lock. It's got a little damage to it. It's been beat on a little bit, I guess, but a killer lock still. Love that patina. Nothing like those solid brass locks with the brass clasp love them.
so proud to have that still got a good bit of curb strips to do so excuse the vehicle stay tuned well guys I get this 8081 dig it's a deep 8081 I dig the plug pull out some iron I thought that was it but I, I knew it sounded too sweet to be uh, iron so I went to looking around a little better ended up coming across this wheat scent check it out I'm under these shade trees so you really can't see but it is a wheat scent I ain't popped the side yet. Let's see if we can get a date off of it. As deep as it was, I thought it would be an Indian. Uh, I think it's an early one. That's going to be a two-handed job. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can't get a date. All right, guys, it ended up being a 1926. Maybe we'll run across something shining here in a minute. Go find. Just dug this token. I don't think it's all that old. The grand game token. Hmm. Non negotiable. Hmm. It says, hmm. Cool. Cool token. All right, we'll keep on hitting these strips. Well, y'all, I'm coming through here and I get a 55 and I dig this uh, target out. And it looks kind of like a button with no back on it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a button though. I don't see any signs of any kind of iron back or anything like that. But I'll flip y'all around and let y'all check it out. I've got to do a little more cleaning on it, but I wanted to go ahead and show it to you. Well, there it is. I know it don't look that much, but I'm not sure exactly what's under that crud. It may be a job for the... Uh, cleaning pencils but I can see there is a design behind it but I'm not sure what it is yet and I don't want to just go in to scratch it and pop it and break it so I may pick on it a little bit with a toothpick and see if I can get it cleaned up enough to show y'all in the field if not I'll show it to you at the house when I got it cleaned up with the uh, cleaning pencils. But a cool find. Rim looks like it rolls that away, but I'm not sure about it. But I think it rolls in that away. I have no idea. Alright, well, let's clean it up and see what she looks like. Well, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, but before you go, I want to tell you about a little story. I found an old abandoned house place up in the woods where I used to hunt at as a kid. I remember my granddad took me uh, to this spot one time. We walked by, and at that time, it was a whole house. Now it's kind of rotten to the ground, but there's still one room attached, still standing. But um, I remember seeing this place as a kid, and uh, I found it again. So I did a little test digging there today and uh, 
I'm not a scary kind of guy, but I got a bad vibe from this place. And, uh, could have swore I heard some walking around inside the piece that's still standing. So that kind of freaked me out. And I'm not one to jump in to, uh, jump on the ghost train right off the bat. But I gotta say, I've, I did get a little shook up. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that video coming up. I still gotta analyze the footage and look through there, but I'm hoping I caught the sounds that I was hearing in this little room. Uh, yeah, freaked me out. But anyway, make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And also, I bush hogged the old house place, and there's always something cool coming out of the ground there. So stay tuned. God bless. Happy hunting. I'll see you on the next hole.